Now let's talk a little bit about uh, personal protection if it goes to a really extreme level where you have infected people in your vicinity, your home, or you work in a hospital. Now I'm sure you've seen all the white coats they wear, and I'm sure those are great. Um, this might be a step higher. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not a hazmat expert. This product is made by DuPont. And, um, and uh, it's made out of plastic of some sort. Pretty thick, actually, so it's very hard to penetrate. And of course, you would probably seal this off if there's any openings um, for shoes and whatnot with uh, duct tape or something similar. Um, I'm sure you've seen all the N95 masks, you know, the white masks that uh, people are wearing. And quite honestly, those are not very effective. It doesn't take a genius or a scientist to realize that. Um, if you really want to step it up, you would probably go with something like this. These are about, uh, well, normally they were about $30. $35 online. There might be a lot more now. But again, these are an N95 as well. So that's a 95% filtration system. But the way it sits on your face, it really doesn't uh, allow the airflow to um, escape from the sides if it's snug on your face. So something like this, as ridiculous as it may look and is what painters use, is probably something better than the white... Uh, masks everyone else is using especially some of the ones that look like uh like cloth that you just wrap it around your face which you know unless somebody's like literally spitting in your face i i i'm not a i'm not an expert but i it doesn't look like it's going to really do a whole lot if this if it's some kind of uh, vapor that's in the air it could easily come through the sides now this thing right here um this is used for something more extreme nuclear level kind of uh air filtration system it's like a nato uh, type Now these things were cheap uh, and they might still be out there uh, not more than I think $30 for something like this you know most people are never gonna ever need something like this but um, this is the, the good part about this is it has a full face with a glass lens um, protection and uh, generally, you want to protect your eyes, too. Now, an easier way to do that is with uh, goggles, just uh, like Speedo type, you know, swimming goggles. And those you can, you know, get for like $10 or something, usually online or anywhere. And, uh, you know, they're going to seal out your eyes from any, any particles or anything. And that's, that's a good way to do it without looking uh well you're gonna look ridiculous either way but that's not the point so you want eye protection i mean if you're in a really serious environment i'm not talking about you you know walking outside and there's nobody around you don't need all this but if you're around a lot of people that are sick um you may consider doing that um again these are still available but uh i mean the, the white masks uh you know i'm sure they're they, they help but I personally don't think it would be something that I'd feel conf confident with uh, if I was around sick people because it just doesn't seal your face enough. And of course, I've seen some people with uh, that are doctors even or nurses and they're not covering up their eyes. And, you know, you definitely want to have some kind of eye protection if you're around sick people. This would be a really extreme case. Um, gloves would be a good idea, but... Uh, you know, it's uh, you can also wash your hands, and a glove is not going to really do a whole lot if you're not going if you're going to use your glove to touch stuff that you're going to touch again with your hand. It's almost pointless wearing a glove. Um, it's kind of like a fake. Um, you know, itself you feel like you're protecting yourself, but you're really not doing a whole lot unless you know you're touching fluids or oils or. Um, you know, stuff like that, but your, your hands and alcohol, rubbing alcohol would be sufficient. Um, gloves would be great if you're wearing a suit like this and you seal everything off um, and you have a procedure of taking it off without uh, having any of the contaminants come inside the suit, which then would be another disaster. But I'm sure you would uh, clean it off with uh, some, tor some sort of alcohol spray or chemical. But that's all I have for uh, for masks and suits. Again, this is not something that most people are going to need. 
hopefully you'll never need something like this but uh you know it's nice to have